Father, we thank you for another Shabbat. We ask you right now, touch each one as we go from here. Father, I pray that you touch each one, even every prayer request, prayers in the prayer box. Well, Lord, we just lift them up before you. And we thank you. And as we go forth, let your word of truth come out. Shalom. Shalom. subject will be the power of understanding and we'll start out with Deuteronomy 4 6, Deuteronomy 4, 6. <coughs> the power of understanding Deuteronomy 4 6 Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6 <clears throat> Keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and saying surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people So notice he said keep and do them yeah. for this is your understanding and your wisdom Yes. So if you keep the commandments yeah. and do them Yes that's how you get understanding. Right. Your understanding right there. Yes. Now let's go to Proverbs 4, chapter 4, and verses 5 all the way 6, all the way to 7, 8. Okay. Proverbs. Chapter 4. Yeah, chapter 4. Start out with 5. And go away to 6. All the way, all the way to 8. Oh, 8. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 5. <clears throat> he taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. 5. Oh. Chapter uh, uh, verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. 6. Forsake her not. And she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Eight. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee, and she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. Wow. Yeah. So this way you see, you get wisdom, get understanding, right? Yeah. I want to go to that seventh verse again because it's a precept we can show you that goes with that pretty much. Okay, let me go uh, 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 read uh, verse seven. Yeah. Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So when you say wisdom is the principal thing, meaning the commandments, yeah. are the principles of Christ and you can go to uh, Hebrews, I think it's Hebrews 5.12 you see that? Hebrews 5.12. Remember the principal thing, right? Yeah. <clears throat> That's how you can see. You'll see it links up. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. For when for, for when for the time you ought to be teachers, you had need that one teach you again, which be the first principle 
of the oracles of Elohim, and are because such as had knee of milk and not strong meat. See, did y'all see that yeah. part in the scripture? It said the first principles of Elohim. Yeah. So it, it goes back, when you go back to Proverbs 4 and 7, Yeah. wisdom is the principal thing. So he's telling you the laws and statute commandments yeah. are the, the principles of Christ. Right. Those are the first principles. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because that's the milk. That's the milk. Right? Yes. You have to get that first. Yes. But a lot of people are trying to get the mysteries. Yes. You can't get the mysteries without getting the milk first. <laughs> True. Because that's too heavy for you. Yes, it is. Right? And they don't got no understanding on that. True. So, so you got to get the milk first. Right. Because you won't be skillful in the word without being getting the milk first. That's right. It won't be. Yeah. So when you read that part, it says in uh, uh, Proverbs 4, 7, it just, it, you know, when you, then when you read the part with uh, what's called the Hebrews 5.12. Yeah. Now you see the principal thing. Yeah. He's talking about his laws. That's right. Right? Yeah. That's the first principles. The True. principles of Christ. Right. Right? Yeah. But you know what? Well, people don't catch that. No, they don't. Right? No, they don't. So let's go to five, Proverbs 7. Proverbs 7. Proverbs uh, chapter 7. Yeah. Verses 1, 2, and 3. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 1. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Two, keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple of thy eyes. Three, bind them upon thy fingers, write upon the table of thy heart. See? And you go to, uh, we were read uh, three, right? Yeah. Go to four and five. Of the same chapter? Yeah, same chapter, yeah. Okay. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 4. Say unto wisdom, art, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. 5. That they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger with flatter with her words. So the commandments should keep you from the stranger who flattered with her words. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That also going into religion. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's right. Because that, that's like a female, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they can flatter you with their words. Oh, yeah. They are doing that. And you fall into their religion. Yeah. And that will happen. So the, so the law, if you keep it. Yeah. You keep his commandments. Yeah. It would keep you from falling into these false religions. Oh, that's why our people are not doing it. See? They're not keeping the law. Give you from falling because it's tell you the flattering of her what is yeah right yeah because there's a lot of flattery yeah in these religions sure is right and our people got caught up in that holy shit <laughs> can you see it now yeah I see very clearly what's going on with I noticed when the Lord calls when He talks about religions yeah He called it her too right like a woman the woman yeah right yeah so right there it's that woman yeah. <laughs> That's what's like, uh, I think it's in, it's, it's in Proverbs, uh, at Deepster, chapter 7, when they talk about the woman in the street. Yeah. She grabbed the young man. Yeah. Can we go to that, 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 uh, that scripture? Mm -hmm. Okay. That scripture, we go that. Went to car, uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's in the same chapter, right? Yeah, I think it's in the same chapter. Okay, yeah, Paul, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, verse 8. Yeah. Passing through the street in the corner. No, let's start with seven and go all the way down to what? How far? Uh, how, let me see. How, so we're in seven, right? Yeah, we're in seven. See, people didn't catch that, you know. No, they sure did One religions is yeah. talking, it's talking about the woman. It sure is. The flattering of her lips. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's how you, we fall. That's how our people. Yeah, that's how our people got caught up in it. Okay. So. We'll go all the way down to 16. Where we start at? We, uh, we're going to start at 7. Yeah. Go all the way down to... Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, 21. 21? Okay. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 7. Behold among the simple one, I discern among the youth a young man void of understanding. A passing through the street near her corner, he went the way of her house. Now in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. 11. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. 12. Now is she without, now in the street, lying in the way of every corner. 13. So she caught him, kissed him, and with the impudent face said unto him, For I have peace offering with me this day. I have prayed, paid my vows. 15. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy faith that I have found thee. So say, I have docked my bed with covering of tapestry with carved works with fine lemon of Egypt. So say, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, oil, and cinnamon. 18. Come, let us take our love, our, 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 our pill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. 19. For the good man is not at the house. He is gone on a long journey. 20. He take, he hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day upon it. 21. With her much fair speech, she called him to yield. With the falling of her lip, she forced him. See? So with the much uh, speech, with much fair speech, she caused him to yield. Yeah. So just like a lot of these Christian, these uh, religions. Yeah. With That's their right. speech. Yeah. They cause you to yield. Yeah. You fall into it. They fall into it. Right? Yeah. The flattering of their lips. Yeah. Notice the scripture said that her place is on the, the corner of the street. Yeah. You know, many churches are on the street. But the street. Right? Yeah. And so many people are pulled by it. You sure is. Right? Yeah. And you're flattered with the flattering. So, yeah. But the only way you can overcome this uh -huh. is by the commandments. Right. Being caught up with the commandments. Yes. Right? Yes. With the Lord. Yes. So, it also said that the young man was void of understanding, right? Right. Meaning he didn't have no understanding. True. So when you don't have no understanding, you're gonna be pulled to all that. Yep. So let's go to Proverbs one and seven. Proverbs one and seven. So I thought we would bring that out a little bit to show you. And so uh, in the scriptures, many times he the Lord called a religion by a woman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Flattering of the lips. It sure is. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and, and instruction. So, this tend to tell you the, fear, the fool despise, meaning hate, yeah. wisdom, yeah. and knowledge. Yeah. So, they won't they will stay away. They won't they come will, and learn. Right, they won't come and right? learn. Because right. it's not on their heart to do. True. Right? Right. Because even if you spoke. Wisdom and told them yeah. some of the things the Most High has shown you. Right, they would just be guard your words. Yep, yeah. right. They will. And so it's better off to just not waste the wisdom that you True. have learned. Yeah, because you can't waste it on fools. Right, right, right. So Proverbs chapter two, two verses one, two, two, going all the way to six. Proverbs chapter two. Yeah. Verse what verse? Chapter uh, 2, yeah. start out with 1. And go all the way down to 6? Go all the way down to 6. Okay. Was that Proverbs 2? Oh, probably, yeah, Proverbs chapter 2. Oh, okay. First 1 to 6. All right, okay. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. 
my son, if thou wilt see, receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, to, so that thy ear, de, incline thy ear unto wisdom, and apply thy heart to understanding. Three, yea, if thou criest at the knowledge, and lift up thy voice for understanding. For if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for a hidden, hidden treasure, five, then shall thou understanding the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of Elohim. Six, for the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. See? So he's telling you to apply it, right? Yeah, apply it. Hide it in your heart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Austin said if you seek after it as treasures, True. you won't find it. Right. Right? Yeah. But you gotta be one that going that, that's going to really seek it. True. Then you'll see it. Yeah. And we got uh go to Sirach. Sirach six. Start out with verse nineteen. And we go all the way to twenty two. Chapter six, verse nineteen? Yeah. And twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Six Sirach chapter six Sirach nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two. He cruised the acid Sirach chapter, uh, chapter six verse six. Come unto her as wine that plowed and sorts, and wait for her good fruit. But thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruit right soon. 20. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. 21. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it, will, ere it be long. 22. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Yeah. So you see, he said, come unto her as one that plows, right? Yeah. And sows. Yeah. That's labor, and that's going that's, into labor. Yeah, that's labor. So that means that when you're seeking out this wisdom, yeah. you're digging deep. True. Right? Yeah. And wait for her fruits, because you're, you're going to eat her fruits. Right. Right? Learning. Yeah. So you're learning. Yeah. When it said it, but she's very unpleasant to the unlearned. Right. Right? Yeah. Because also we know the unlearned, yeah. this word can cut you. Yeah. And also yeah. convict you. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, if they do it what they're not, you know, what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's unpleasant. And so it also it tells you that she's not manifest to many. Right. Meaning that it's hid. Oh, that's right. It's hid. Yeah. It's, but it's only to those who are seeking after her. True. It's going to be revealed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what it's going into, right? Yeah. And so, for wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifested unto many. Right. Right? Yeah. Only a few. There's only a few. Right? Yeah. And we go, same chapter though, but this verses 23, 24, and 25. Ecclesiastes, Jerah, chapter 6, verse 23. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, refuse not my counsel. 24. Put thy feet unto her feathers, and thy neck unto her chain. 25. Bow down thy shoulder, and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. bonds. So pretty much home on yourself. Yeah. That you may hear, right? True. Same chapter, but it's going to 26 and 27. 26, 27.
Ecclesiastes chapter 6, Sirach, verse 26. Come unto her with thy whole heart, and keep her ways with all thy power. 27. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. See? Tell you again, right? Yep. To seek, go after her. Once you've got a hold of her, she's yeah. talking about the wisdom. Yeah. Don't let her go. Right? right. So it's still talking about the wisdom. Yes. Right? Yes. And so it's also, when we, we talk about wisdom, it's going into the most high laws. True. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's how we get our understanding. That's right. So it's so rock chapter 4. 4 and verse 16. Uh, I think I had. You said rock. You said Sirach chapter 4. Yeah, 4. 16, 17, 16. 18. Okay. 16 to 18? Yeah. Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 4, verse 16. If a man commit himself unto her, he should hurt her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. 17. For at the first she will walk with him by a crooked way, crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul, and try him by her laws. 18. Then will she return the straight way unto him, and com comfort him, and show him her secrets. See? Yeah. Well, he said, at first, you, 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 at first, you shall walk in the crooked ways, right? Yeah, yeah. So that means, like, when we came first to this truth, Yeah. We in Christianity. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's true. And we didn't know, <laughs> right. so we walked in the crooked ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Till he brought us out. To right. Him, right. Yeah. Tried us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's going into all that. Sure. Right there. Yeah. Right. Sure did. And now he made known to us. Yeah. His tour. Right. Right. Yes. The reason why I say he made known to us his tour. Yeah. We know a lot of the stuff that we was doing was not right. Right. We thought it was right oh, when yeah. we was in church. Yeah. We thought, oh yeah, that's right. we gonna follow the Lord. We follow the Lord. Yeah. We doing all these pagan holidays oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah. The Lord pulled us out of that yeah. and showed us that's not right. True. And brought us to His tour. Yeah. And show us it's forbidden. Right. To do those practices. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Torah speaks against it. It sure do. Right? It sure do. So how can I keep doing something that the Torah speaks against? <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. So if I continue to do that, then I'm just, and so after knowing that, if I'm going to do it doing that, yes. I'm doing that with the knowledge of knowing. Oh, that's not good. Because if I say, well, I know it's wrong for me to do that now, yeah. but I think I'm just going to do it all right because I got kids. <laughs> so... We, yeah. just, we just doing it for kids. Oh, yeah. that's, right? exactly right. that, that, that's what's going on. And yeah. so if I'm just doing that for kids, I'm teaching them wickedness. That's right. I got to turn away and teach them righteousness. Yes. Which is what the word says. Right. What God's law says. Yeah. Right. Do it with the kids is wrong. Right. Yeah. Because I can't just excuse myself and yeah. say, well, we just doing it for the kids. <laughs> right. Keep doing that. I gotta teach my kids right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going wicked. Right? That, you're right about that. That's True. what we gotta do, right? Yeah. And that's what we call real repentance. Right. Mm -hmm. When we turn from it, right? Yeah, that's what we call real repentance. I can't just repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But <laughs> I'm continuing to do, do it. doing that. <laughs> that's not repentance. No, that's not repentance. No. no. Right? <laughs> no. Crying with tears in my eyes and saying I'm sorry. Yeah. But, but still continuing, yeah. that's yeah. not repentance. Right, that's not repentance. That's bad. I had to turn from it. True. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, because some people think that's repentance where they yeah. cry and say, I'm sorry. Right, yeah. And yeah. still doing it. <laughs> repentance being changed. Right. Right? Yeah, change your life. Change what you're doing. True. Right? Yeah. Stop doing that. Yeah. Because once you find out that pagan holidays is wrong, right. you got to stop celebrating. True. Right? Yeah. So, we got Sirach chapter 4. Yeah. And 23 
24, 25, these are the verses. Okay, you want Those three verses. 24, 25, okay. Yeah. All right. Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verse 23. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good. Hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. 24. For by speech, wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. 25. And no wise speak against the truth, but he abasts of the error of thy ignorance. See? Yeah. He even tells us not to hide our wisdom. Right. Right here. Yeah. But speak when you have the, the opportunity. True. Right? Yeah. Because the Lord, if he gives you that door, use it. Right? Use it. Yeah. But if he didn't open that door, then you just got to be quiet until he opens the door. True. Right? Yeah. So, but he would give you the opportunity. Yes. That's when you got the opportunity. That's when you have the opportunity to share what he has taught you. Yes. Right? Yes. Proverbs 10, 13. Proverbs 10, 13. Proverbs 10, 13. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 10, verse 13. In the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wow. Wow. So I tell you there. <laughs> so, so the one who have understanding, yeah. that means you have wisdom. Right. Right? Yeah. But the one who don't, Woo. you said it's a rod for their yeah. back. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Who is void of understanding. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, so it's no, it, cause it's, so if you look at it, I put it this way: you come to somebody, one uh, of your brothers, yeah. you try to tell them who they are, right? And they say, "Well, I don't want to know that." You're right. <laughs> I got other things to do. Yeah. So that person that chooses to reject that wisdom, yeah. that rod's gonna be for their back. That's right. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. Yeah. Because the Lord has given you a chance. That's right. To hear. That's right. And the only thing I noticed, he has also given you, it's a responsibility, even if I reject it. That's right. Because yeah. even if I reject it, I'm still going to be whooped. That's right. 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 Yeah. Right. Bible, yeah. You still going to be Right. <laughs> You're not going nowhere. Right. You can say, well, y'all, that's, that, that's y'all, y'all believe that. But I, I don't believe, I don't believe that. I'm going, I'm going to go my way. Sound like that lady. Right. <laughs> Cause you might tell, oh man, we just found out we are. Yeah. Like, and you said, well, that, that's that's for y'all. Yeah, y'all can do what y'all want to do, but I'm gonna stay with you. Oh. You know, I'm gonna yeah. stay here. You know, y'all yeah. just do you. That's not good. You know, yeah. you have some of your brothers will tell you that. Yeah, you know? they will. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But that's scripture tell you. They're not getting away either. That's right. You say, right? yeah, right. Yeah. Wow, they're gonna get it. <laughs> So you're not getting away. That's right, they're not going to get away. And so the most high going to deal with you. That's yeah. You know? It sure is. And so it may seem like, we may see people, and it seems like nothing going on. Yeah. But still, even though it don't look like nothing's going on, yeah. it looks like they're living good uh -huh. and peaceful and all that. Right, but that's true. The most high still going to get you. That's right. Right? <laughs> yeah. Because if you reject his word, there is consequences yeah. on rejecting his word. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. That's why a lot of people don't know that. They don't know that. The world don't know that. That sure don't. Right? Right. Right? Because right? it's like the world. Is. Yeah. It is consequences for people to say, because the Lord gave laws to us to do. Yeah. But it's consequences when you reject those That's laws. That's right. Yeah. And you go against it. But they don't know and that. <laughs> you want to do your own thing? Yeah. yeah. You say, I say that men and women, men, two men can be together. Yeah. Two women can be together. That's not God's law. No, it's not the way. Right. Oh, There's man. consequences oh, along. sure is. Because we're going against the natural order yeah. that he set up. That's right. Right? Wow. Because even you can see the natural order, yeah. two men, I mean, two a man and a woman, yeah. bring forth children. Right. Bring forth life. Yeah, bring forth life. Yeah. Not two men. No, not two men and not two, two women. Not two women. No, they don't do that. Only a man and a woman right. brings forth life. Yes. The natural order that True. the most high set up. Right? Yeah. So we do anything else 
we're going against his order. That's right. Right? Yeah. We're breaking his laws. That's right. Right? Yeah. And so there's like most people, see, man try to change that and say, we make it legal that you can do this. Yeah. And it's all right. Right. Man. Yeah. And that's man saying it. Yeah. yeah. It's not the most high saying it. True. Yeah. You still got to face the most high. That's it. Right? Yeah. Even though you change laws. Yeah, change all of that. It's still the same. Still come the Lord. most high don't change nothing. That's right. <laughs> So, man can tell you all that, but yeah. man is not in charge. No, he's not. Right? No, he's not. <laughs> no. Right? <laughs> right. If he's in charge, why come he? If man is so much in charge, yeah. why come he can't stop the weather? He can't. Yeah, he can't. Right? He can't. Why come he can't stop the tornado? And he can't bring down the dead. Hurricanes. Right. 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 He, can't, he can't do it. He can't right? Do it. Can't do it. Because if you say, if he's in charge, is it, uh, can you stop it from being hot today? He can't. He can't. No, he can't do it. He, right. don't that, he don't have that power. Can I, can I ask you just bring it down a little bit? No. Nope. That it'll be cool? No, it won't. You don't have that power. No, we have that power. On no. the most high, right? Exactly. So that shows you they're not in charge. Right. 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 True. Right. So Proverbs uh, 1433. Proverbs 1433. Fourteen thirty-three. Oh, okay, yeah, fourteen thirty-three. There we go. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter fourteen, verse thirty-three. Wisdom resting in the heart of him that have understanding, but that which is in the midst of fool is made known. See, meaning folly. Yeah, <laughs> folly is made known because yeah. of the foolishness that yeah. is being out. Displayed, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So wisdom rested in the heart of the of them that have understanding. True, right, yeah. And we go to Jeremiah nine and twenty three <laughs> and twenty four. Nine twenty four. Yeah, nine twenty twenty three and twenty four. Oh, twenty three twenty. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 Thus said the Lord Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom Neither let the mighty man glory in his might Let not the rich man glory in his riches For 24 But let him that is glorified glory in this That he understandeth and knoweth me That I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness Judgment, righteousness in the earth for in these that I delight, said the Lord. So when the Lord was saying, don't let him that glory in his might, yeah. uh, his riches, yeah. for your might is in your body. Sure is. Your strength. Sure is. Right? Yep. Uh, in your, your what you call it, uh, wisdom. Yeah, he, Education. He, yep, education, right? yep. Your doctorate degree. Yep. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, I'm a doctor. Yep. You know? He sure is. They all say that. Your doctorate degree, because you know, some people do praise that. They sure do. Right? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. And even worship it. Yep. Right? And so there's people, that's why he said, don't glory in that. Mm -hmm. But he said, glory that you know him. That's me. he's talking about glorying in this truth. Right? Mm -hmm. You glory in this truth. Yeah, right. That you know him and know the truth, uh -huh. right? The uh, laws. The yes. Right? Yes. So he's telling you not to glory in your body, not right. to glory in your education, your right. wisdom. Right. But glory in the truth. The truth, yes. That you know the most right. <laughs> Right. Right? Yeah. So that's what he's talking about. And that he actually, uh, he exercised truth and justice and righteousness. Yes. Because those are the things the most high loves. Yeah. He loves judgment. Yes, he does. He's a God of judgment. And there's another precept for that uh, in Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Let's see what it Is it 8? Yeah. 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 Isaiah chapter 61, verse 8. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make the everlasting covenant with them. See? 
And there's another one to show you the Lord loves judgment. It's in Psalms 99, 4. Psalms 99, 4. Psalm 99, 4. Psalm chapter 99 verse 4. The king's strength also loves judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou executed judgment and righteous in Jacob. See? And because uh, if you go to uh, the Lord, he loves judgment, right? Yeah. And if you go to Jeremiah, I'm going to use this verse. Go to Jeremiah 315. 315. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. I will give you pastor according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So that tell you what is the most high's heart. We just got from yeah. show you that he's a God of judgment. Right. So he gave you a shepherd that's gonna feed you judgment. True. Teach you judgment. Yes. Meaning teach you the laws. Right. Right? Yes. So that's what that's going into. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then if you go to first uh first Samuel thirteen fourteen, first that's when the Lord got a, a king after his own heart, right? First Samuel chapter what? 13, 14. 13, 14. First Samuel <clears throat> chapter 13, verse 14. But now that kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought him and man after his own heart. And the Lord had commanded him to be a captain over his people because thou hast not kept that which is the Lord commanded thee. So we see when you go into that, that's David, right? Yeah. Because David loved the Lord's precepts. Sure did. Right? Yeah. Because you can go to Psalms uh, chapter 119. Well, the scripture he said he loved the Lord's precepts. Uh, what chapter did you say that was in again? Uh, Psalms 119. 119. 119. Here's one that I can give you. It's in, I don't know that you can go to 104 where he speaks about the precept. I got a whole list of 119 precept. Which one you say? 104. Oh, okay. Good. You're going to uh, some, somewhere else. Yeah. And I did want the one where David said that he loved the Lord's precept. He loved the Lord's precept. Love the Lord peace. I know I've seen it. Love the Lord peace. Yeah. Love the Lord peace. Okay, this one is 119, 159. 159. Consider how I love that precept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. That's one? Yeah. So that one right there. 
He loved the Lord's precepts. Yeah, and then we go to one to go 104. Yeah, 104. I'm just showing you that uh, right. David was um, that man that loved the Lord's law. True. And you don't see that with a lot of people. No, a lot of people that say they love God. Yeah, but they ain't telling the truth. But they don't love his law. No, they don't love his law. And the Lord said, you got to love, love that law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't love that law, you gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What verse is that? What, uh, 19? Uh, 119, 159. 119, 159. Psalm 119, verse 159. Consider how I love thy precept. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. See? Yep. So he loved the Lord's highest laws. Yeah. Right? Right. Because yeah. a lot of people say, that, oh, I love the Lord. Yeah, it is. But they don't love his laws. They don't love his laws. That's right. They just don't. Right? Yep, true. Because soon as you start talking about law, you see all attitude come out. Oh, yeah. You see all anger <laughs> yeah. come out. Yeah. Right? All the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it seems like to me, men, yeah, y'all love men's law better than the most holidays. True. That means I can keep my pagan holidays. True. <laughs> and I can do that, do what I want to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that, that so kind of attitude. So you love man's law. Man's law. Yeah, they do. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's right. tell the truth. Yeah, you're right. You're so you right. love you want to keep yeah. your pagan holiday. Yeah, they do. Right? Yeah. They, wow. You listen to them too. They they rather keep pagan holiday <laughs> and keeping the Lord's laws yeah. uh, and his and his uh pay, I mean his holiday. Yeah. <laughs> so we brought that out. Yeah. So let's go to Exodus sixteen. Oh wait, wait, I think we'll go to Psalm one hundred four. Oh yeah, Psalms one hundred four. What verse? Is it uh, Psalms? Not uh, 119 and 104. Oh, you want to go to 119, 104? Yeah. Okay, got you. Okay, it's, a it's, one, it's 119, 104. It's 119. Oh, 119, okay. 119, 104. Psalms, okay. What? That, that, it isn't Psalms? Yeah, it's in Psalms. Yeah, it's in Psalms. That's the longest book in Psalms. Sure is. 119 is? Yeah, it sure is. That's the longest book. Psalm 119, verse 104. Through thy precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. See, so David tell you that he he gets understanding through the Lord's law. Sure do. And he hates every false way. Yes. So he loved the, the Most High's law. Sure does. Right? Yeah. And we don't hear that with a lot of people that say that. I'm just telling you. A lot of people say, oh, I just love the Lord's yeah, You know, they, they ain't telling the truth. Do you hear anybody say that? Do you hear anybody say that? Nope. Oh, I just love the Lord's law. No, they, I don't hear none of that. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, cool. I don't hear yeah. none of that. Yeah, Jim, not even close. <laughs> but I hear people love man law, though. Oh, yeah. They but they can, they can do their fellows. Yep. Their uh, feasts. Oh, yeah. Their pagan feasts. Oh, yeah. And their holidays. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. They uh, love that, that pagan holiday. They love the tradition of man. True. Yep. Right? True, do. <laughs> they don't want to follow the most high. Exactly. No, they don't. They love the tradition of man. Exactly. Yeah. They do. Wow. Right? Yeah, right. they do. So, Exodus 16, 28. Exodus 16, 28. Well, we just tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know a lot of people ain't going to like that, though, but we're just telling the truth. Yeah, we tell the truth. That other uh, people don't not love the law. 16? Yeah, 16, 16, 16 verse 20. 28. Exodus, chapter 16, verse 28. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws. See, you see the Most High's heart yeah. right there. Yeah. He was so like, what, uh, how long is Israel going to refuse <laughs> yeah. keeping my laws and my commandments? See? Yeah. The Lord right tells there. You want yeah. us to keep his law no matter yeah. how you like it or not. Right there. <laughs> yeah. He asked Moses, yeah. how long are they going to refuse 
keep my commandments and my laws. Yeah, <laughs> see. Yep. Yeah. So Deuteronomy in Deuteronomy five and twenty nine. Deuteronomy five twenty twenty nine. Yeah, five twenty nine. I don't know if people didn't catch that. Did you see how much the Lord, he is up on that? They ain't looking for that. I <laughs> <That's laughs> said, don't do the Bible. Yeah. Keep my laws. Yeah. Keep my statutes. They yeah. want they to look for something else. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Some people might say this because the Lord said so much. He said, man, the most high sound like a broken record. Yeah. Well. He, but because we needed Green down in our, exactly. in our mind, right? We do. You have to we tell do. us because we're rebellious. Yeah. That's right. That's what's wrong with Israel. Rebel. Rebellious. Deuteronomy <laughs> chapter 5, verse 29. <coughs> oh, thou there were such a heart in them that they may they would fear me and keep all of my commandments always that it might be well with them and with their children forever. See? <coughs> You see, yeah. if you read this verse, you can catch there's a lot going on there. True. Because the Lord, when he was saying, oh, if they had such a heart in them, yeah. to keep it always. We know why he said it? Because he knew the, the all the trouble that Israel was going to keep. Oh, you. yeah, he knew that. That you're, you're going right to go through all these captivities. Yes. Because you didn't do right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? He knew. He knew that Israel was going to act up. Yeah. <laughs> It's right there. Yeah, it's right here. Right? You and, knew. And then if you go to uh, Isaiah 48, it's saying the same thing in verse 18. Okay, Isaiah 48. Isaiah, okay. Isaiah 48, 18. Same thing. Same time. 18. Okay, 18. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, chapter 48, verse 18. 18. Okay, 18. <clears throat> yeah. Lord said the same thing here. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 18. Oh, that thou have hearkened to my commandments, then have thy peace been as a river and thy righteousness as the ways of the sea. So he's telling you our peace would have been forever. That's right. We would have been ruling forever. Yeah, but we act up. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's what he's saying. Yep. Right? Yep, we don't want to keep it. Man. There you go to, uh, go to Isaiah 30 and 18. Isaiah 30, 18. I mean, Isaiah what? 30? 30, 18. Oh, okay. 18. I'm going to this scripture because it tells you that he's a God of judgment sure in, this, in, in this verse. Yes, he is. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. And therefore, with the Lord waits that he may be glorious, gracious unto you. And therefore, will he be exalted, and that he may have mercy upon you. For the <coughs> Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that waited for him. So, it also tells you the Lord will have mercy on us yeah. in this, and he'll be gracious towards yeah, us. true. But also, he is a God of judgment. Sure is. Right? right here. Yeah. Even though the Lord will wait for us and be mercy, mercy to us, yeah. it still don't stop us from being judged. That's right. We're going to be judged. Yeah, we're going to be judged no matter how we like it or not. Right? Yeah. He's a God of judgment. True. Right? Yep. So that's the scripture. So I'm going to, and this is for you, he, he, uh, he weighs your actions. Ash. And so that's in First Samuel two and three, he weighs your actions, because he's a god of knowledge, meaning a god of judgment. Right. First Samuel chapter two verse three. Yeah, two and three. First Samuel chapter two verse three. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord is. A Elohim of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. See, but he weighs your actions. Yep. So that means you can't be arrogant. <laughs> right. And have ar arrogancy. True. Or pride. Yeah, come out of my mouth. But he's going to judge. The Lord won't judge you. Sure is. You're right? Yep. And sometimes it, it hits you right away. That's right. 
Because sometimes the Lord let you go through some things. Yes, you will. Because if you're so arrogant and pride. Oh, man. Yeah, it'll knock me down. Boom. He'll knock you down. Yes, he will. Right? Yep. And so uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Is it uh, the regular one? Yeah, oh, the regular one. Okay. 12 and 1. 12-1. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. Remember thou that creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Same. So we know when it's talking about remember thy creator before the days of the wicked days come. Yeah. We know that's going into World War Three. Right. Right? Yeah. So that's what that's going on. And so how do I remember the the the, the, the creator? Is the precept for that. That's Deuteronomy eight and eleven. This is how you remember the creator. The remember Elohim. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, I remember the Lord, so I'm going to the church and pray. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what the scripture says. Sure. So we show you how this, what the scripture says. This is the precept for it. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Deuteronomy 8 and 11. Deuteronomy 8 and 11. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy Elohim, and not keeping his commandments, and his judgment, and his statute, which I command thee this day. See? So that's the precept. Yeah. So how did I remember Elohim? Yeah. Keeping his commandments. That's right. Right? That's right. Because you can pray, but you can be doing all kinds of things. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Doing all kinds of stuff, right? <laughs> true. Very true. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Malachi 4 and 4. Just saying the same thing, though, what we just said. It's just, that, that's going to that same. That, it, this goes into those verses. Uh, Malachi 4 4. Okay. Malachi, okay. Malachi chapter 4, verse 4. Remember ye the laws of Moses, my servant, which I command unto him and her of all Israel with the statute and the judgment. So it's telling you to remember the Most High. Right. So we just we just brought that we broke it down. Yeah, sure did. So remember the most high is keeping his, his commandments. Yes. Right? Yes. So you go to Psalms 119, Psalm 119. and verses 9, Psalm. 10, and 11. Chapter 19, verse 9. Bam. Withdraw shall a young man cleanse his way by taking ye according to, uh, to thy words. 10. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. 11. <laughs> thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Scriptures, mm -hmm. they give it that kind of what you call it, and they put it good. Wow! Remember when you read that part, uh, yeah. and it said, "How can a, a young man cleanse his way yeah. by taking heed he to his word. To word?" It's a precept I got. For okay. Me. And it's uh, Sirach chapter thirty-two Sirach. Sirach. and twenty-four. Thirty-two. Yeah, 24. Yeah, 32, 24. So this is the precept of taking heed. Okay, so rock. Oh, that's the aspect. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the, the, yeah. the one in the uh, pocketbook. Yeah. 
It concludes that chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments, and he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. So that's a powerful statement there. Sure is. Because it said that he that takes heed to the Lord yeah. he takes heed to the commandments. That's right. Right? Yeah. So that also lets you know if you don't keep heed to the commandment, you don't believe. That's right. That's what the word means. That's what it said. Right? Yeah. Don't believe. Right? Yeah. All right. That's a sad thing. Because a lot of people say, I believe. Yeah. But you won't keep the commandment. Right. Right? They believe them. Right. According to the Lord, you denied them, right? Exactly. And we can show you that, that that goes into the scripture for that. It's a precept for that. Okay. And you can go to Titus. I think it's Titus 1.16. Because it tell you you denied. Right. Because if you're not keeping the commandment. True. Okay. Titus. Yeah, Titus 1.16. It's not too long for you, is it? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Keep going to can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep going. Titus, chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know Elohim, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, even every good work reprobate. So we can break this down and say, because profess is also confess, right? Right. So you confess or profess that you know God, but... And works meaning say say you say you know the Lord right, right. but you say well I'm still gonna do uh, Christmas <laughs> and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my birthday <laughs> and I'm gonna do all these things that I'm not supposed to do <laughs> right right yeah I'm gonna... and so when I do that I deny that's right the Lord that's right right there Boom. because yeah. I'm breaking His commandments yes I'm saying I know Him. But I'm doing something totally different. That's right. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is not good. No. Right. Right. So you deny the Lord right there. Right. Yeah. He's trying to tell me, I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> and so, just like the Bible said, right there in that verse, it said, being abominable. Yeah. Yeah. So you're being abominable, doing abominable things. Uh-huh. Yeah. That means you're doing things that he said not to do. That's right. Right? right? Yeah. Yes. And we can break that down to another verse. Yeah. Because that goes into, uh, you can go, I believe it's in Deuteronomy, is it 18? Uh, let me see. Let's identify Deuteronomy. Okay. Because the Lord say not to learn out of the nations. Right? Uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9? Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 When thou art come into the land <clears throat> which the Lord thy Elohim giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. So, that's he's showing us. Those are abominable yeah. because the nations practice right. abominable things. True. Because they did pick and stuff. Yeah, they sure do. Right? Yeah. So, he don't want us following that. Exactly. Right? And how people are doing they follow it. Right? Yeah. Now let's go back to uh, uh, Psalms 119, but this time uh, start with verse 59. So 119. Okay, so back to Psalms. Yeah, this so time go to. 159. Uh, go to, oh, yeah, 59, 59, 59. 59, and that's it. And six, 60 and 61. 61, okay. So it's, it's 119, verse 159 on up to 161. Or just, just, just 59. 59, and verse 59, verse 60, verse 61. Gotcha. Psalms 119, verse 159. Consider how I love that precept. Oh, 20, 
That's the wrong one. 59 verse 59. Oh, wait. Yeah, 59? Yeah, just 59. Oh, you mean go to uh, chapter 59. Oh, it's 119, but just uh, 59. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. 59 and 60 oh, and 61. Gotcha. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, it's not in the hundreds. Right, right, okay. But we're gonna stay in uh, Psalms because I gotta. Uh, we'll go from we'll go from sixty one to ninety nine. Well, what's the next one? Yeah. And it's still be in Psalms. Yeah, I'll still be in Psalms because I still got a lot of verses that I got okay. right now. Okay. Uh, oh, what, what what chapter? So y'all in uh, one nineteen, right? Okay. Yeah, but I, I'm yeah. I, I, I'm gonna get the next one you got. Are you at 50? 50, 50? 59? And sixty and sixty one. Yeah, okay, I'll get that. Then then after that we'll go to ninety nine. Okay, a hundred all the way to a hundred and four. Oh what, what what chapter? It's still in the same book. Oh, okay. I'm getting confused. Still in the same book. Okay, so it's ninety nine to what? To a hundred and what? Hundred and four. Hundred and four, okay. And the first one is from fifty nine to sixty one. Yeah. <clears throat> Psalms 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies, since I may haste and delay not to keep thy commandments. 61. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forget, forgotten thy law. Psalms 119, verse 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimony or my meditation. 100. I understand more than the ancient, because I kept thy precept. 101. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I may keep thy word. 102. I have not departed from thy judgment, but thou hast taught me. One of three. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. One of four. Through thy precept I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. See? Every false way. Yeah. And we see that David, when we see in uh, 59 and all the way to 60, so that means he had to hear the law, right? Right. For yes. him to think upon it. True. And to look at his own ways. Yes. Then he made haste. Haste mean he moved quick. Right. To change. True. Right? Yeah. Didn't waste no time. Right. He didn't waste no time. Right? Right. So then we go on to, and we go to 99 because he was keeping the laws. Yeah. He exceeded his teachers. True. That means that he passed his teachers. Yeah, because they wouldn't, they wouldn't keep the law. Right? <laughs> yeah. Then he got more understanding than them. Right. Right? Right. So when you get to this law, you go walk in the law, the Lord will bring you up high. True. You know? Yeah. Remember that vision I told y'all? Yeah. The Lord showed me. He took me past the law. Yeah, because they wouldn't, they wouldn't keep the law. Right? Right. And so because this law, when you see, you see things that other people ain't seeing. True. You see a lot of things in the Word. That's right. Right? Yeah. The dark sins yeah. that a lot of people don't see. That's right. Right? Yeah. Because there's a lot of dark sins in the scripture. It sure is. Right? Yes. So all this right here is when we keep the laws. Yeah. So we, we're showing you how to get understanding, right? Right. And that's another scripture for that. And we can show you that's in, uh, it's in Sirach. Let me find it when I, okay. when I was wanting to get. Yeah, it's in Sirach 21. Verse 11. Okay. So it's in Sirach 21 of, and verse 11. So I go sit. Go up there and sit. Yeah, verse 11. 
Amen. So 21, 11. So uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 21, verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. See? Yeah. And it tells you all that. It tells you all through the Bible. Yeah. If you keep the commandments, you're going to get understanding. Right. Right? Yes. Because we can go all the way, I think it's to the first chapter, the second chapter of Sirach. And, yeah, it's the first chapter okay. of Sirach, verse 26. 26. 126. Okay. 126. Chapter 1, verse 26. Okay. 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 Wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. See? He said that all through the scripture, That's right? That's right. All through the Bible. Yeah. All and I can, find, I can find another one. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Yeah. It's in chapter 6 of Sirach. Chapter 6 of Sirach. 37. 37. Rock got a lot about concerning the law. Yeah. Now, just say if you think upon it, on the laws, on his yeah. ordinances. Yeah. He would give you, give you the law, give you. I mean, give you understanding, you understand. give you wisdom and understanding. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Ecclesiastes, chapter six. Yeah. Verse thirty-seven. Yeah. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Verse thirty-seven. Chapter six, verse thirty-seven. Let. Thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord and to meditate continually into his commandments. He shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom and thy own desires. See? Yeah. So he's saying if you think upon his commandments yeah. continu continually, he will give you wisdom at your desire. Wow. Meaning he will increase your understanding and knowledge. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture said. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there's like I've been I've been seeing the Lord increase us. Yes. <laughs> so it's all for the Bible. Sure. Yeah. And see, this is what I heard when I was in Christianity. Mm -hmm. Pastors. Yeah. Continue to pray for understanding. Oh. Always pray. <laughs> always pray for understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they pray for understanding, they yeah. not they're not getting the Lord is not opening all that up to them. That's right. Because they don't know this part. Right. And in scripture we said. So we just showed you yes. about keeping the commandments. Right. Yeah. And he'll give you yes. He'll give you more, right? Yeah, he said yeah. here, yes. Right? Yeah. And then also my favorite one, if you go to Psalms, I think it's Psalms Psalms one oh ten or is it one eleven? One eleven? Yes, Psalm one eleven? Let me see. If it's Psalm one eleven. Yes, uh, 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 Psalm 111, verse uh, 10. Yeah, yeah. Psalm 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of all they that do his commandments. Say. Commandments. Praise endure forever. Say. So that tells you those who keep the commandments yeah. have a good understanding. True. Right? Yeah. And when he talking about you got a good understanding of his word. That's right. Right? Yes. So that also tell me something else. Yeah. You can't just pray for it. Right. You can't just pray. That means I can't just be praying, but I'm still... You know, <laughs> doing, you know, because y'all y'all show me that's all right to celebrate Christmas because we think we celebrate the Lord, right? Yeah. And I'm still doing that. Yeah. I got to cut away from that. That's right. And keep, when I start keeping, yeah. then the Lord, he increased my knowledge. That's right. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yes. He increased my knowledge. Yeah. Because I'm keeping his laws. True. Right? Yeah. That's how you get up. Right. Yeah. 
But I'm just I'm just, just telling what the scripture says. Yeah. Because I'm not telling what my my own intellect is saying. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm telling what my intellect is saying, I'm adding on to the scriptures. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want right? to do that. No. So I'm just telling you what the scripture said. True. And the scripture says you keep the commandments, he'll give you wisdom. No. Yeah, that's what he said. Right? Yeah. And so the Lord will not respect a person among his people. Right. Meaning if you keep it, yeah. he'll increase your knowledge too. That's what he said. Right? Yeah. He'll give you. Yeah. You know, because you can't get mad at oh man. I can't see why Paul got all that wisdom <laughs> and I'm not getting nothing. Oh, no, I'm not getting nothing. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh. You got to check what, the, what is it that you're doing. Yeah, right. Why are you blocked? That's right. You know? <laughs> That's right. And you, you ain't getting nothing. You're blocked. <laughs> because you're not yeah. keeping some of the law. Right. Whatever he's doing. Right? Yeah. Do it for yourself. Yeah. 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 You got to clean that. That's why you got to look and you got to check the reason why are you blocked. You ain't getting nothing. Right. Yeah. You're <laughs> Right. It must be something that you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, it is. It's something you're doing. Yeah, but the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Yeah, because I know somebody be like, man, he getting so much wisdom and knowledge that I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to check out your Yeah, yeah, you got to check out himself. Yeah, you got to check out what he's not doing. <laughs> he's not doing right. right. That's why you're not getting True. Nothing. Yeah. And I'd like to go, because this right here, cause yeah. you know, I heard I heard somebody, uh, and it's a minister that said this. Uh -huh. He said that the, the, the what you call it, the mysteries convert you. The mysteries don't convert you. <laughs> he said, what, the mysteries convert me? <laughs> they don't convert you. And we got the scripture, what what was uh, convert you is in Psalms 19. Uh -huh. 19, verse 7 and 8. 119, 119, yeah. and 78. Because it tell you the law converts you. It's not the mysteries that converts you. Wow, somebody got that all wrong. The law of the Lord converts you, not, not the mysteries. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to read this. Psalm. Chapter 119, verse 7. Oh, out, is huh? that 19? Oh, it should be 19. Oh, it's 19. Yeah, because it's 19. It's 19. Yeah, because this tell you about the law. The law converts you. Isn't that the, isn't that the mysteries that convert you? Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Psalm, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the law is perfect. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise and simple. Eight. The statue of the Lord is all right. Rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is pure. Enlighten the eyes. See, so enlighten the eyes. Yeah. And also you can go to Ephesians on that. But talk about uh, enlighten the eyes. It's in Ephesians chapter 1. Go to Ephesians chapter 1, yeah. where it's talking about enlightening the eyes. Yeah. Chapter, uh, it's, uh, chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. The eyes are understanding being enlightened. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance and the saints. See? Yeah. So that right there, that goes with Psalms uh, 7 and 8, right? Right. As, Ephesians what? Uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. Sit over there. So right there, and a good verse for that. We we still talking about the eyes right in there. Yes. So Psalms one nineteen verse uh eighteen. It's 119. one eighteen. It's one nineteen, right? Yeah, one nineteen eighteen. Eighteen. Verse eighteen. Okay. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 
119, verse 18. Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous thing out of thy law. So the Lord open your eyes that you may behold wondrous things. It's uh, 119, oh, 119 of Psalms. Okay. And that's 18, right? Yeah. Verse, okay. yeah, verse 18. 18, okay. It's 119, verse 18. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. And stay in uh, 119. Okay. And go to one, 127 and 128. 127, 128. 127. <clears throat> Psalm 119, verse. 127. Therefore, I love that commandments above go, yea, above find go. 28. Therefore, I esteem all that precept concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. See? Right there. Yeah. And 119 and 113. 119, 113, you say? Yeah. Verses 113. Psalms chapter 119, verse 13. To man. I hate vain thoughts, but I that no, but that law do I love. See? Okay. That one again? Okay. Oh, that's, that's a 119. Yeah, 119. Verse 113 of, of, of Psalms. Okay. 113. Yeah. Y'all got it? Yeah. Yeah. And so, this is a good one for because you know, uh, some like some people and pastors might say, because I may say, oh, you can't know everything. You just, you know, some of them saying you can't yeah. know everything. Yeah. Yeah. But David knew. Yeah. Right. Cause, yeah. And this is in the what's called it Second Samuel, fourteen, verse seventeen. Second okay, Samuel. Samuel fourteen. And seven. Okay. Second okay. Samuel. Second Samuel. Chapter fourteen, verse seventeen. Then thy hand may say, The word of my Lord the King shall now be comfortable. For as the angel of Elohim, so is my Lord, the king, discern good and bad. Therefore, the Lord, thy Elohim, will be with thee. See? Yep. So I tell you that David knew things. Yes, he did. Right? Yeah. And this goes, this goes back to uh, Psalms 119, verses 99 and 100. You said 119? Yeah, 119. Verse? Nine, 99, 99 to 100? To 100. Oh, that again? What? No. Uh, Psalm 119. Yeah. So 119. So I'm precepting it with, uh, with, with second, Samuel. Yeah, Samuel, yeah. Okay. Verses 99 to 100. Okay. 99 was 100. Okay. So, yeah. Well, they said, some of you, oh, you can't, you don't know, you ain't gonna know that much. You can't know, you can't know everything. <laughs> that's what they said. Yeah. I know that's a big lie. Psalms 119, verse 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers for that testimony or my meditation. 100. I understand more than the ancient because I kept thy precept. See what David said? Yeah. He, he said, said he understood more than the ancients because he kept the, yeah. thy precept. Yeah. Because he kept the Lord's precepts. Right. So he understand more than them. Sure he, yeah. he, he He passed his teachers. Exactly. Up, right. Yeah. yeah. See? It blows your mind. Sure then. does. Yeah. And they tell you, oh, you can't know it. Before. Right. That was yeah. it. Yeah. That was it. I heard them say that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But this scripture proves that wrong. Yeah, it does. It proves it wrong. Yes, it does. Right? And it's a, a good uh, a verse, you know, to talk about the covenant. Yeah. And, uh, Psalm 25, 14. Psalm 
So when you keep the Lord's commandments, you don't know things that other people don't know. That's right. Right? Yeah. Psalm, one, Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. This is pretty much saying those who keep his commandments. Right. Because when you fear the Lord, you're going to keep his commandments. Right. Right? True. Yeah. And therefore, he said the secret is going to be with you. Yeah. That means you're going to know some secret things. That's right. Right? Yeah, we will. That means you're going to know a lot of deep things in the scriptures yes, that yeah. they don't know. True. Right? right? Yeah. And so, I, that's a wrap, a wrap on that. Right? Yeah. Was that good? Yeah, it was good. Pretty good? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know it's pretty much scripture, though. Well, it's good. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. 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 All right, we done. All right. Father, we thank you for that truth. And Father, as we go forth from here, we ask you, Lord, that you bless the food, bless the fellowship right now as we go from here. Shalom. Shalom.